our guys have something really cool here to show you because I'm all about doors lately. It's springtime and I've been wanting to get these doors off the Jeep. And so you've seen all kinds of door videos. This is the last one. This is actually a product called Stack, Rack, and Roll from Topsy Products. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing together, get my doors off, and then I'll show you a little bit more about it. guys so this is a really cool way to get your doors hung off the Jeep and then eventually out of the way and it's achieved by using a engine stand so the guys at Topsy products have created this ingenious door hanger that mounts basically just to any normal engine stand I'll tell you a little bit more about this engine stand uh, in a little bit. It's actually not the one they recommend, FYI. Uh, but yeah, I like it. It keeps the doors at a height that's easy to manage because it's not much different than the height of the Jeep. It's actually a little bit lower. Uh, my Jeep's a little bit taller, obviously. Um, but instead of having to hoist them way up high or drop them all the way to the floor, you can sort of pull them off and then just hang them. So the ingenious part really is in the strap retention. So it tells you on the front, just like this, you've got a label on the front of which door goes where, but then here on the back side, it tells you which door loop goes where. And you see there's a crisscross pattern. That crisscross pattern is what keeps the doors centered and keeps them from flopping around. So it's very stable because the door straps help hold them in place. Now it is important to note, this is a prototype version of this. The version that's actually shipping today is a little bit different. It's also designed with uh, holes that you can mount it on a wall. Uh, it's drilled for 16 inch center studs. So you can mount those on a wall. The cool thing about this being on the engine stand is you can reach through and have these cables hang through. You kind of lose that when you put it on the wall. So I kind of like having access to the back of that, but that is an option if you choose to do so. So there is a specific process for this. So you start with the two rear doors, get those two in the middle first and strapped in. That will keep everything centered. 
and then you move to your two front doors. And uh, so these are going to be facing inwards. These are also facing inwards. So something interesting to note there. Now I do have JK pockets from Slick Rock Gear. And you can see that gives me a little bit extra something there that wouldn't normally be there, but they still fit fine. It's just the, the two pockets sort of spread the doors just a little bit more than uh, otherwise probably. So the engine stand that I'm using is a Harbor Freight one half ton. And uh, it was $50 out the door, tax included, with my 20% coupon. I think it sells for 60 bucks, uh, and then 20% off of that, obviously. So Topsy actually recommends a two-ton stand that folds. So basically, when you're not using it for a door hanger, you can fold it up and out of the way. That was a lot more expensive. It would have been double the price, and I just couldn't justify it. Um, I think I can deal with this. So. That is something to note. They do recommend a thousand pound stand at a minimum, uh, but this one worked out great. Uh, hazard fraught, you know, always coming through. Anyway, guys, top seat products. Uh, one more tip for you that I found after using this just a couple of times. So the hinges actually fit into these holes, uh, basically just like uh, your hinge holes on the Jeep. The pins go right through. By the way, the American Outlaw pen guides actually come in really handy for this as well. Um, but there's these little plastic bushings. And what I found is sometimes when I pull the doors out to put them back on the Jeep, the bushings will come off uh, and stick on the pin, which when you get to the Jeep, that's gonna be a problem because you're trying to put them into another bushing. So um, what I'm gonna recommend that you do, and I'm gonna do this, is I'm gonna just put some RTV sealant on these, push them back in, and hopefully just lock them in place a little bit better. That's really my only complaint. You know, the engine stand is a little rickety at best, but once you get these doors strapped in with that crisscross pattern they want you to use, I mean, the thing is really stable. And as you can see, you know, moving it around isn't a problem and the doors just stay put. So now I can roll these off into the corner and go doorless without my doors falling over or getting banged around. All right, guys, so that's the stack, rack, and roll door storage system for Jeep Wrangler. This happens to be a four-door version. And uh, yeah, I'm liking it. Oh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>